My name is Matt Ditlove. I'm the Vice President of Operations for Inland Steel Saskatchewan. Inland Steel was founded in 1967 and we've been in the metal recycling business in Saskatchewan for 50 years now. Uh, we have multiple locations throughout Saskatchewan. Uh, we have one in Saskatoon and one in Regina and we have the capacity to service the entire province. We offer multiple services from dropping bins at your locations, at your businesses that are producing scrap and we have various sizes of bins in different ways which we can service your account based on the kind of uh, metal you're producing at your facility. From all types of copper, aluminum, brass, stainless, batteries, farm equipment, vehicles. We have a 24-7, 365 appliance drop-off that, you know, if you're busy during the day and you have one stove or fridge or something you need to drop off, you're able to come to our facility 24 hours a day and drop that off. What drove our need for a Norseman structure like this is we purchased a new non-ferrous baler and we were now able, based on the volume and the growth of our company, we needed a way to process the amount of material that's coming through our doors and we weren't able to keep up with what was going on with our old facility and our old processing equipment. So this, this building was great for us because of the, the ease of putting it up. We had this building operational within six weeks of ordering it. The height of this building, as you can see, is very high so we're able to bring our roll-off boxes, our lugger trucks and our gondola trailers in here to dump material and we could even get excavators and small machines in and out of this without having to worry about height of the building. As you can see it's all insulated so one concern that we did have we weren't sure about was how is a Norseman structure like this going to be able to hold up in the winter time and we found that with the insulation and everything when it's minus 50 here in the extreme cold this, this building will stay, stay at room temperature and the guys are able to work here in ease and even in the summertime when it's hot days out, the insulation here keeps it nice and cool inside for the job done with ease. We did do some customization to this building. Uh, right here we added a side overhead door. So if this door is full or there's material coming in through this way, there's another access point to get in and out with forklifts, bobcats, etc. We also added on a, a galvanized cladding throughout the, the, the bottom parts of the building all the way around. We also put in the high overhead doors, which was a customization as well, just like I spoke about before to talk about uh, the end dumps and gondolas and lugger trucks getting in and outside this building. 